Hey guys, welcome to Series World. Today I'm going to explain a romance drama series called Devotion from 2022. Turn on subtitles and spoilers ahead. The third episode opens with Sophia going to the train station to leave for home. Carlo has also arrived at the station. He calls her to stop her from leaving, but she doesn't pick up. He then goes in front of the train window and tells her to come and talk. Sophia comes in front of the train door. Carlo asks her why she was leaving so suddenly. He also asks her about what Margarita told her. Sophia replies that Margarita threatened her, but she assures Carlo that she didn't tell her anything. Carlo requests her not to leave, but she expresses how people have been looking at her weirdly on campus. Her dreams are just dreams they're not going to come true. Carlo keeps on requesting her, but Sophia is stubborn in her decision. The train starts moving on, leaving Carlo behind. Meanwhile, Margarita is coming back to the house from Sophia's place. After entering the house, she says hi to Carlo, but he doesn't reply. She asks him about it, and he brushes the question off. He asks her what she did the whole day, implying he knows what she actually did. Carlo gets angry at how Margarita could threaten a 20-year-old girl and even make her quit her course. Margarita is equally angry at him as well, and asks what has been going on between Carlo and Sophia in their one-on-one -on -one lesson. Soon the fight turns pretty ugly, and they start pushing each other. Margarita grabs her coat and leaves the house. She goes to her mom, Anna's house. Her mom is worried about seeing her come so late at night. She doesn't ask anything at first. They share some snacks and do some chit-chatting. Anna asks her whether she'd like to move some of her stuff from the house and she agrees. Anna then asks Margarita to tell her what really happened, but Margarita is not so interested in discussing this. Her mom gets a bit frustrated and leaves her alone. Anna sits in front of her sewing machine to do some work when Margarita comes and asks whether she ever suspected anything. Later that night, Carlo also goes to his trusty friend Marco to get some advice. Marco is the friend who has been cheated on by his wife. He also suspects Carlo after hearing his version of what happened that day in the restroom. Carlo is frustrated hearing this. Marco informs him that his cheating wife Julia is back. They also became intimate. Even though they did so, he just doesn't feel the same. Marco suggests Carlo to not cheat on Margarita, as this will not only make things shitty between him and Margarita, but also make him feel terrible too. After their meeting, Carlo is back in his house, sitting on his sofa. He's checking his phone for any message from Margarita. Meanwhile, Margarita is also checking her phone to see whether she got any message from Carlo. Even though they both see that they're online, they don't message each other. Margarita then texts her new physiotherapist, Andrea, to arrange a meeting tomorrow as she's in a lot of pain. In the morning, Margarita came to her workplace. Her partner Eva greets her and asks her why she's late. She then gets straight to the point and asks her about what she did with the Concordia house. She informs her that the customer called asking for similar houses because Margarita told them that the house was not for sale anymore. Margarita is tired and stressed. She tells Eva that she's just going through some tough time and she screwed up. She wanted the house for her and Carlo. Margarita promises Eva that she'll make it right but Eva doesn't seem to calm down. She tells Margarita that she doesn't need to fix anything and leaves for work. Back to Carlo, he's now in his class. In today's lesson, he teaches the students how to write an ending for their story. He suggests they either have an open ending or a reality-based tragic ending. While taking the class, his eyes seem to notice Sophia's empty seat a lot. Meanwhile, Margarita has gone to meet with her friend Julia in a restaurant who recently cheated on her husband. After they sit down, they order some drinks to have while talking. Margarita expresses her disappointment in Julia because she didn't tell her what was going on even though they are friends. She then asks her to tell her how it all happened. Julia explains that the guy was a French painter who came to Milan to stay for some time. They met one night at the art gallery. He expressed that he liked her and was all over her. He used to wait for her every night after work, and things weren't going well between Julia and Marco. So this painter and Julia got closer. They slept together, and Julia felt good too but the attraction was finally gone, and now she realized how badly she screwed up. Julia then asks Margarita to tell her everything that Marco told Carlo last night, but Margarita wasn't with Carlo last night and she can't tell that to already unstable Julia. She lies that she slept early and she didn't see Carlo that night. The scene cuts to Carlo who is guiding a student to do his work better. He suggests the student add a plot twist to his stories, and that'll make his stories more put together and interesting. While he's talking with his students, Sophia is looking at them from a not-so-far place. Back to Margarita. She's now at her physiotherapist's place. She gets ready in front of the mirror for her session. While giving her therapy, Andrea gets instructed by Margarita to press his hand closer to her lady parts. 
but when he asks whether he should go deeper, she stops him abruptly. After their session is done, Margarita gets out and calls for a taxi. Andrea also gets on his bike to leave. He asks her whether she'd like a ride back home, but she rejects. But before he can leave, she adds that maybe she'll accept the offer some other time. Back to Carlo, Sofia informs him that she got off at the first station. He jokes that if that's the case, she had no excuse to miss the class. She replies she had a valid excuse, and that is, she was sucked into a novel, and that novel was none other than Carlos. Reading his book made her want to try writing again. She really connected with how Carlo describes pain in his book, but Carlo is a bit confused as he didn't know that he was describing pain, but to Sofia, it was as if she could relate his narratives to her pain. Carlo then asks her whether she'd tell what really happened that day. Sofia informs him that she gets sudden flashbacks of those incidents. She thought that she had left those past behind, but that's still in her heart. When Carlo suggests she write about this pain, she replies that she just doesn't have the words to describe these feelings. Carlo then takes her to a place where she can find words, a bookstore. Carlo picks up a book for her from one of his favorite authors and hands it to her, but it turns out that Sofia has read all the books of this author. While they are discussing Sofia's taste in books, Carlo's publisher Luca enters the place. Carlo introduces Luca and Sofia to each other. Luca was a bit confused seeing Sofia with Carlo, but then he concluded that they've come to attend the event he's hosting today. To not disappoint him, they go to the event. In the event, a writer is present with her book to discuss. She reads a line from her book where she describes how we are fascinated by things we could have. But according to her, some things should end earlier for their memories to last longer. She then asks the audience whether they've any questions after reading her book, and Sophia raises her hand. Sophia gets to ask a question. She explains the paragraph from the book, where the author has expressed that life is what remains after a lot of crossroads. So, people should be responsible for their actions and interactions. The whole time, Sophia kept looking back at Carlo, who was standing behind the small audience. After the event ends, Carlo and Sophia get out. Sophia asks Carlo out for some drinks, but Carlo directly rejects her. After she left, Carlo called Margarita's mom, Anna, and asked whether Margarita was still there. The doorbell starts ringing in Anna's house, and she tells Margarita to open the door for her. After she opened the door, she saw Carlo waiting for her. He has come to take her home. He expressed how much he missed her, and Margarita returned the feelings back by saying she missed too. They then share a passionate kiss on the lips. Soon, the kiss turns into lovemaking back in their home. Their days go by as usual without any incidents. But deep in her heart, she feels like something is stuck. Later one day, she's doing some work in her office. Her partner enters the office and she informs her that the Concordia house is getting many responses from the online ad. Eva asks her how much time she'll need and she assures her that she'll sell it very soon. Eva corrects her asking how much time she'll need to make an offer for the house. Eva asks her whether they should discuss this over a cigarette. While smoking, Margarita tells Eva everything about what's going on between her and Carlo. She expresses that she has never spent a night at her mom's place after fighting with Carlo. Even though they made up, she's not sure whether things will go back to how it was. Eva asks her whether she has a thing for another man. She assures her that she has nothing like that, but Carlo is acting weird about his one student. Eva asks whether she's sure that he's cheating on her because there's no in-between. Margarita has no proof, but people have their desires and fantasies. Eva tells her that if they start counting, they'll all be cheaters. The scene changes to Carlo. He's done with his class and starts leaving. After getting in the car, Carlo calls Luca, asking whether he'd be able to come to the symposium to give some advice to his students. He then ends the call and starts turning the car when he notices Sophia and another boy walking away while being all lovey-dovey. He seems a bit upset, but drives away anyway. Back to Margarita is now in the physiotherapy session and getting some special treatment from Andrea. After their session is done, she bids everyone goodbye and leaves. Outside, she makes a call to get a taxi, but Andrea comes in front of her with his bike and tells her to hop on. He will drop her off at home as it's quite late at night now. Margarita gets on the bike. The episode ends with Margarita telling Andrea to take her anywhere but home. To watch more explanations of these kinds of series, click on the videos on your screen. And don't forget to let me know how you feel about today's video in the comments down below. And at last, thanks for watching.